Hey everyone, it's Kelly. Welcome back to a grocery haul. This time, my daughter has an offer to spend $60 or more over four weeks to get 10,000 points. So it's gone up $10 from the base of 50. I do not have any offer at all, <laughs> probably because I just spent over $1,000 on the gift cards last um, offer that they had and that usually what happens if you spend up big like that you get knocked out with the next round so either way let's head in store and do her offer first up we'll grab this packet of bagels because it is my daughter's offer but also she loves bagels <laughs> as well as me um i saw these here <laughs> on clearance for 50 cents I just can't do it. <laughs> um, I've got this chicken mince in here and it's pretty much in the freezer. I didn't really do anything with it, so I'll worry about it later. Um, and I was going to get these tart things because they were marked down, but they're all crushed and I just... I just don't think it's worth it for the price that it is. Um, having a look here at some of the chicken meal things and I couldn't really work out what much of anything was. Some of the prices weren't too bad but some were just a little bit crazy and probably if there was more of those I would have grabbed some but there was only that one so I just left it going to grab the Hershey's syrup it's probably a little bit more than what I'd probably normally pay but someone said to me I promise you it's amazing you should grab it so I said all right and it's been working really really well for the chocolate milk that we've been making so I'm super happy with that but I am definitely going to try a home brand one down the track I'm going to grab some pineapple because this is one of our must-have staples in the household so I'll throw some of those in and then we need some bicarb soba and I'm noticing that there's a new pack here it looks really good and the price for the weight is better than the smaller one so we're definitely going to grab this bigger pack I love these mini choc chips for putting into cookies so I'm going to grab some I really should do a weight comparison with how much it costs to buy all the ingredients and make the cookies myself compared with the ones that we buy from Coles um, yeah and try a few different recipe variations maybe if I have a weekend free one day I might do that so I've grabbed some of the Coles home brand in the purple packet there and I'm going to grab the red ones here I find either or they're exactly the same oh yeah I'm shopping with my mum today so I've been following her around and annoying her having a look here at the garlic aioli that's a must have for our house and I'm noticing this sweet and sour simmer sauce that's here. I am a bit worried about grabbing that because the one from Audi has changed and it's very sour <laughs> compared with sweet. And seeing as we just stocked up on Canton not that long ago, I'm going to leave it. And maybe if we get desperate down the track, I might have a look at it. Crushed tomatoes, I end up running back and grabbing quite a few of these because I was under the spend when I was checking out. I miscalculated something. So luckily I knew where they were and I could literally run straight through to the area I needed. Oh yeah, I'm having a bit of a race with my mum up and down the idols and I did say, Toulou! something something <laughs> I'll just blank that out that was funny we had a few people looking at us because I would go past there and go like <laughs> okay, okay. anyway all right muesli bars must have for the house gonna grab those and someone's stolen the chocolate that I clearly want for a dollar so I'd like to know where it's gone thank you very much but at least the dark chocolate licorice twister here and the raspberry we haven't seen those in a long time so we're going to grab those they're a pantry must have now I'm going to grab some mouthwash because my daughter uses this a lot it took me ages to figure out where the Coles one was normally home brand stuff is like right down the bottom but I'm starting to see that a lot of home brand things are all the way up on the top shelf and yeah it's really weird if quite a few other things have been like oh on the top shelf not just on the bottom shelf soft drinks are still on the bottom shelf if they're like home brand but other stuff is way up the top, so yeah, either or. So we'll grab a couple of these because we're stockpiling a little bit. Going to grab some gloves. I always need some as a bit of a backup for cleaning in the house. And while I saw them here, 
thought I'd grab some. Scrub Daddies looked really good, but I don't need any right now. The pink stuff I see everywhere on TikTok, everyone's using it, but I'm told that the gumption works just as well. Yeah, I don't know. I'd love to get some one day. I just, yeah, again, need some time to dedicate to cleaning but I will grab the cream cleanser because that is amazing for helping wash dishes with some stubborn stains when I need to wash stuff really quickly I'm gonna grab vinegar that is a must have for the pantry staple for mostly cleaning um, but either or I need it to be in the house I'm gonna grab a jar of posada sauce because again that's one of the stockpile things we don't have it often but I like to make sure that it's there oh yeah I did come back to get some of the uh, diced tomatoes while I was here and I end up running back later and grabbing more going to grab some oven bags while I'm here for the chicken and we need some ziplock bags as well I just keep buying these as a bit of a stockpile because we use them all the time cinnamon sugar same thing a bit of a stockpile and here is kind of my creative trolley and then we go to the checkout and as i said i was under the spend so i had to run back the receipt will be at the end here's my organized chaos here's my mother's perfectly packed shopping <laughs> So yeah, we spent $60.50, pretty happy with that. Hope you've enjoyed the haul. We have many more to come. So like this video and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.